to thank you. Well, I've still got lots left, but I've started to transplant my um, lettuces. So over this side, we've got uh, our pick a leaf lettuce, which is just a combination of different leaves. And you come along and, uh, well, once they get established and they start drinking the water from there, they'll really blossom, uh, which is lovely. And I've got about uh, 20 of those at that side. And behind me here, on this shelf behind me, we have the individual lettuces and these are tom thumbs and they'll come in a nice little uh, compact lettuce and so we can pick the whole lettuce and when these are big enough i'll transplant some outside as well as well as having them in their own individual pots in the greenhouse and that'll keep us going right through till next year so we're very lucky with that these will recover they're not looking very good at the moment but they will recover and in this is where we've got our peas inside here we've got um, beautiful coriander at the back and do you remember that odd plant, the cucumber melon that we talked about? Well, if I can be careful, there it is, look. So for next year, this will be well established. We're gonna put it into a bigger pot very shortly. And we're about to have those very peculiar cucumber melons. And they're very good in salads, apparently. So, isn't it marvelous? I've just noticed above my head, there's a really jolly nice cucumber still coming here in the greenhouse. And I've just picked some beautiful uh, tomatoes so it's onwards and upwards if it gets really cold and desperate i'll pop the heating on for them isn't that nice and luxurious i suspect you're wondering why i'm showing you this uh growing area covered with a fleece well i planted my peas in here the other week and i came down yesterday and as you'll see from the photographs someone's been along and dug them all up put little holes and took all the seeds out so I put that over in the hope to protect my peas for this spring well here I am in my growing frame and uh, well it's uh, it's an autumn morning we've got a bit of rain a bit of mist it's a little windier and uh, while well, I'm here next to my lovely um, pea plant and I think I've got some peas on I think the Hopefully it's not too cold for them and they may come in the next few weeks, which would be really lo rather lovely. It's interesting uh, reading the Potato Peat book and looking around the history of, of things that were happening during the war years with regards to allotments and growing. And uh, there's a lady I found called Viola Williams from Wiltshire. And she was part of the Ministry of Food and she became quite important with regards to getting people to grow. She used to be uh, at a school and she helped them, encourage the school children to grow food at school. And then she went on to become employed by the Ministry of Food to go around the Wiltshire area and, uh, well, educate the women of the area on how to grow foods. You can't find any photographs of her. So if you know who Viola Williams is from Wiltshire in the wartime and you have photographs of her, which would be fantastic that I could show my viewers some of the pictures of Viola Williams. Um, these women that, that, that again kept the country going during the wartime years when the men were away fighting, uh, there doesn't seem much record of them. Although you can hear her voice and if I'll try and get a little snippet of it, um, the Imperial War Museum interviewed her uh, for their archives and I'll see if I can get some downloaded. be interesting to hear her voice even though we can't see her face. When the, each county had its own, there would be the West Sussex War Agriculture Committee, the, the Somerset War Agriculture Committee, the Wiltshire War Agriculture Committee, and Bill Price was the boss of the Wiltshire War Agricultural Committee. So, I mean, I went back to him again, and uh, and I had a, a, we were four of us in the, in the horticultural department. We were, <coughs> we were responsible for any lecturing that any things like the Young Farmers or the Women's Institute or, or the Village Produce Associations or anybody, or Lockman's Associations, anybody who wanted lectures and talks and demonstrations on horticulture, we would, we would be um, detailed off for it. And, um, and we also uh, did a... Um, I wonder why they didn't take a picture as well at the War Museum in London. It'd 
because it's an audio archive probably well there you go well here i am as i say um, what i loved about the potato peat book as well there's loads of recipes of course all about potatoes um, i never realized that the scottish macaroon or macaron or macaroon depends how you pronounce it really is made from potatoes and it's a real traditional recipe and you get uh, potatoes uh, some people call it powdered sugar but we know it, icing sugar and uh, coconut and the flakes of coconut and that's literally about it and you mix them all together you know obviously you have to get the the uh, quantities right and you have a macaroon and it's really really tasty apparently and it's still made this very day in scotland although some uh, of the uh, factory made ones are not made with potatoes anymore but you can find original shops that still make the original potato macaroon and they came again through the war years so some foods have lingered I was just sat inside my green frame filming and I looked across and uh, well look what we have peeping through here we have I believe our onions and yes look at these onions lots and lots of lovely onions all coming up which is rather nice once again Thanks for watching Jeremy's Yorkshire Allotment Adventures. And again, if you do know, Viola Williams from Wiltshire. She's part of the Wiltshire WI, quite famous down there. Uh, send me pictures, let me know. I've searched everywhere and I can't find any. So we'll see you soon. Ta-da for now.